Hi there, we meet again. Let's look at the subsequent chapter. Chapter 4, Wind Generated Waves. Once you complete this chapter, you'll be able to analyze design wave height statistically, perform analysis to obtain for significant wave height, and realize the importance of various wave height in coastal engineering works. Now, the growth of wind generated waves is influenced by the speed of wind, the duration of the wind, as well as the wind fetch. Now, this is the time history record of the surface elevation. It's actually very irregular, right? Now, how are we going to determine a particular wave height to represent all this randomness. Now, one way is through the zero upcrossing method. Say we have a time series wave, sur wave surface elevation record. Now, let's look at this surface profile. Once it goes zero crossing the mean surface elevation, then you mark it. Now between two marks, okay, it will be one complete wave. Now wave height is actually from measured vertically from wave crest to wave trough. Now in this example here, we have 22 complete waves. So there are going to be 22 wave heights. Now significant wave height is actually the average of one third of the highest wave heights. So now we have it. Now, apart from that, once we have the significant wave height, we can, also, we can actually determine for the average of all the wave heights and also the average of a particular group of wave height using the Rayleigh distribution. For example, okay, Rayleigh distribution gives you the, uh, the wave height for the average wave height for 2% of the highest wave height and of course the hundred represents the average of all the wave heights now let's move on